Hey guys, Collar here with set 3 of Cal vs. Iris, and I think this is actually going to be a really good set. This is on Athena 2, um, which is, I think is a fairly balanced map between Terran and Protoss. Athena 1 was more Terran biased, but they uh, widened the ramps a little bit and uh, made some other uh, minor changes, and I think it is now pretty even. Um, certainly those high grounds in the middle can be both good for the Terran and the Protoss. Terran can put tanks up there, um, and Protoss certainly could put some proxy buildings or uh, use them to sneak around the map. Um, we'll have to see though. And this is a, a very even matchup. Both of these players have gotten silver medals in one Star League. Uh, Cal uh, being defeated by Jadong pretty terribly in the uh, in the MSL, and Iris losing to uh, GG Play in the OSL a while ago uh, in 2007. So both players, you know, decent players, um, not necessarily S class. I'd say both are, you know, just waiting in the wings to have their moment to shine, and both are very experienced. Um, and also, statistically, they're about the same. Cal is 60% against Terran, and Iris is 58% against Protoss. So we'll have to see here in this uh, third set. I'm sure both really want it. Um, Cal here at the 6 o'clock location, and uh, Iris at the 9 o'clock location in Brown. By the way, um, what I found amazing wasn't just the fact that there were a thousand people uh, at one point listening to our OSL cast, but uh, eight hours before the cast began, I think, um, well, at seven hours, I think, 7 p.m., uh, sorry, 10 p.m. the night before, I was about to go to sleep, and I was just uh, trying to find the URL, so I had it bookmarked for the cast channel, and there were 65 people there already, seven hours before the cast started. There were 65 people waiting uh, and just chilling and chatting. That was just amazing. I, I had a good chat with them. So if you're among those uh, totally hardcore 65 people, I salute you. America salutes you, man. You served your country. You served the world. Um, you know, by being there seven hours before and and hyping up the M OSL. I mean, seriously, that is just that is just baller right there. That is just just awesome. <laughs> anyway, it looks like it was a 10 gate for Cal here. Um, he's not getting his gas uh, because it's a 10 gate. He's getting his gas on 12. So he's going to produce that early zealot and try to do a little bit of harass on Iris. Iris, meanwhile, has probably gone for, uh, yeah, it looks like 12 racks, 12 uh, refinery here. And uh, Cal is going to, well, probably do a little bit of damage at least with that, um, with that first zealot. He's probably going to send out a probe scout right now just to make sure which of the three starting locations his opponent is at. He's also getting his core, of course, right after gateway. I really don't have uh, any real preference between these two players. I think both are decent players. Um, both are, you know, quite aggressive, actually. Uh, Iris is known as the Berserker Turn for being rather aggressive, and uh, Cal is known as Gujilla, not for being aggressive, but because he looks like a gorilla. Uh, no, I have no idea why. Uh, Cal also sitting his probe there. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a proxy probe. Um... I don't know, maybe he thought he's moved it, uh, but that there is no purpose for him to be saying there with the probe. That's a... Uh, wow, I, I really don't know what he's doing there with that probe, actually. That is really curious. Because um, he's not going to stop an SCV with that probe, and... Uh, <laughs> it really beats me. Um, now he's going to the middle of the map. Okay, interesting. He's going to maybe put a proxy. Actually, he's going to probably put a pro... No. Not gonna put up a proxy. The Robox facility is inside of his base. He didn't build a Zell like I thought, so uh, sorry about that. I guess I was wrong. Um, he's probably just gonna wait until the first goon comes and then blocks his ramp. Uh, but now he's scouting again, so that was interesting. Um, yeah, Cal's not gonna get into the base though because guess what? He sat there with his probe for 30 seconds doing nothing. Uh, if he had scouted it correctly, he would have uh, actually gotten into the base. Um, but I don't know. Um, the box facility going up, and there actually is a Zealot. Okay, Zealot's blocking the ramp. That's where it went. Two factory build though for Iris. I thought Iris was actually going to go for a fast expand, but looks like he actually has all of his SCVs now on gas, all three SCVs on gas, and uh, he's going to be going for this fast push here. Meanwhile though, Cal uh, is going to go for the fast uh, Reavers, um, and it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see uh, how these two do. It's going to come down to a micro fight. Usually, if uh, Protoss goes for fast Reavers or fast DTs, and Terran uh, does uh, a two factory build, it usually favors Protoss a little bit. I'd say, um, depending on how good the Terran's micro is. It could change things around, but I think it favors the Protoss. Um, anyway, though, looks like it's going to be uh, a uh, probably a Gundam push here, uh, which is a couple Marines, uh, a tank, and a couple of Vultures with mines. Uh, that's right, I just used some uh, some terminology there. 
a Gundam push, two-fact push with uh, one machine chop. There is also the Jojo push, uh, two-fact push with two machine chops, where you get a couple more tanks, and uh, it's a much stronger push, but it's a little bit slower, and you double upgrade speed and mines for your vultures. Vulture is out, tanks out, and here is the timing push here. Uh, Cal still has no idea this is coming. This could be just a FD push, of course, um, with a with a unit composition there. But once he spots the vultures coming along, he'll know that it is uh, a two-fact push. Um, we'll see if he decides to use the reverse to defend right now and uh, try to pick off those marines and the tank there. I think if he does that, he'll be way in the lead then, because he'll be able to go and put up a good harass against Iris. And Vulture now in the natural expansion. He has mines, and uh, he'll be planting them pretty soon here. But Cal is going to be quite prepared. He's going to have observers coming out. And now he knows what's going on here. Oh my goodness, the mine taking out all of the marines there. Nice. Uh, well, that was actually, I don't know if it was a purposeful drag, but it was actually not a drag. It was just terrible mine placement by Iris, because that zealot didn't do anything. It stood on the ramp, and then the mine was dragged into it and killed all the marines. So now Iris' uh, push has been completely stomped on. Um, though actually, no, he's got a couple of vultures and, and another tank coming along. So, But certainly I don't think it's going to succeed now that the screening of marines are gone, because uh, he's got no air defense right now. Yeah, that look at that. I mean, that reaver just taking out everything there. And uh, now it's going to pick off these vultures if they stay any longer. Um, Cal losing uh, a large number of his dragoons, though. Uh, but you know, at this point, uh, he's way in the lead, and Cal is now going to be able to do, uh, try to do some damage here. Iris looks like he's got turrets up, so he's going to be somewhat prepared. But still, I think Cal's going to be able to get in and do at least a little bit of damage, mainly because the tanks are gone, and I don't uh, th think the tanks will have siege mode in time either. So um, unseaged tanks versus. Uh, Versus a uh, shuttle with the Reaver is just not a good situation. Cal needs to not lose his shuttle to a turret, though. Oh my god. Wow. If he lost that shuttle, that would have been one of the unpimpest plays of 2008. Um, <laughs> there would be no reason for him to just walk into that uh, to those pair of turrets and lose. Um, anyway, though, looks like uh, Observer's out. So these, uh, these Vultures are probably not going to get up the ramp there. Uh, that Dragoon's going to bite it. But, um, well, actually, looks like a Vulture does get in here. Uh, two Vultures get in. Wow. I am... Shocked by that, actually. I'm really shocked by the fact these vultures managed to get in uh, against three goons and an observer. I mean, there's you could have just target fired the mines as they were being laid, uh, and, and would have been fine. But um, anyway, and Cal looks like he did get a reaver back. So I think he has uh, two reavers now inside that shuttle, and uh, I think he's going to be able to do a good amount of damage, or at least he's going to hold off a push for a long time, so he can set up an expansion right now and, and be perfectly safe. He might even go for a double expand, in fact. That is a possibility here, because he knows he's so far ahead in terms of unit count, that it would be a safe move. And now we're seeing the Reaver going up once again, here time, this time with the Observer, just to make sure he doesn't uh, land on any mines, I think. There are There is a good turret placement everywhere, though, so I'm not sure if this is going to uh, really work out for him, but... Um, I heard the Korean say something like speed upgrade or speed shuttle. I don't know if he's, that means he's gotten a speed shuttle, which would be how it translates. But uh, no, looks like no speed shuttle for Cal. He's just going to float over there slowly with that shuttle. And he is going to kill one SCV building a turret. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, he doesn't even manage to do that. SCV lives. Um, here comes both of the Reavers, though, and they're going to pick off these tanks, actually. This could actually do a lot of damage. Um, I forgot that there were two Reavers, and uh, two Reavers are quite good against, uh, you know, a, just a handful of tanks. Um, looks like that Reaver will go down, though, and so will this one. All right, so I'm completely wrong. Two Reavers took out two tanks. That is not a good trade at all. Um, so Cal, well, I won't say it's really even. I'd say Cal still has an advantage. Yeah, and he has double expanded. So picking up uh, one of the natural expansions over there on the right side. Actually, it's not a natural. It's just an expansion. Um, and also not transferring probes, interesting enough. Uh, maybe he just forgot to transfer probes to his own natural. But uh, that's a little bit of a miscue there, I think. And more factories being produced here. Three factories up for Iris. Um... I still have not thought of a puzzler yet, but I bet by the end of the MSL uh, series here, um, I will have thought of a puzzler. So maybe the next video, uh, you will have Cholera's eighth puzzler. That will be very exciting. And scouting barracks coming down here for Iris. 
Uh, just going to make sure that Cal expanded. Um, and maybe he's going to sacrifice and float in to see if there's any kind of uh, crazy tech sh shift. But looks like the, he's not going to actually do that. So both players have entered um, the the mid game pretty much even, I'd say. Um, Cal with a slight advantage still, I, I'd still give him that. But uh, since he lost those reverse, though, it's just... Uh, He's not going to be able to delay this push as long as he would like. And this Vulture, meanwhile, is going to see the pylon wall. He's going to know there's an expansion there. And, yep, he's going to know. And maybe he's going to try to trick it through. Man, we have not seen a successful uh, Vulture mind trick in years, I think. I mean, <laughs> since Boxer did it, I do not remember any time watching... Um, somebody actually trick a uh, vulture through. You can theoretically do it. I think it has to do with the angle of the pylons. The pylons have to be angled in such a way, in such a weird way, that a vulture could actually trick itself through by landing a mine, uh, planting a mine. And it uh, looks like the push coming out here, Cal needs some good micro with his shuttle, though, and it's going to be really, really essential. Uh, last game, he just didn't manage to stop the push, and, you know, on destination, you can't let the Terran cross a bridge.